Hey everybody, welcome back to Board Games of the Family. This is going to be the second round of our uh, run-through of Gravwell. So, uh, just to recap where we are, this is where we left the uh, the contestants, all in a, a little ship train, so to speak. And then uh, we're on the second round, and we've done the draft already, so the draft pile's empty. Um, the reason, by the way, I haven't covered the draft is the, the logic why I'm picking what I'm picking a, I'm not 100% sure on B, I, 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 it would all be very, very similar. Essentially, what I try and do is, is try and make sure I have a spread of high-value cards, low-value cards, um, early activation cards, low activation cards, and, if possible, a variety of colours, which hasn't worked. Um, and, in fact, it's quite amusing, because if you look well, I'll show you very quickly. Um, essentially, this is yellows. That's black. And that's red. So that's where all the red, all the uh, special cards are hiding. So yellow and black don't have a whole lot of strategy choice this round, other than trying to predict when everybody else is going to move. So yellow will go first, and yellow's in a bit of a dodgy position. If he plays a card too late, he will move backwards because this ship you can't see one point to. This ship isn't going to move. So let's say red and, and black both manage to move here. Um, then yellow is going to move backwards. So instead, I think we will play. I'm having so I could play that, but if I'm going to play that, I might as well play this one, which moves me further. Because if anyone's going to beat me, they're going to play A or B. There's no advantage to playing C instead of D. So I'm going to play the D. That's going to be yellow's card, which I'll put there for now. This derelict ship's going to get in the way. Black. So, just recap where Black is. Black's in the middle of the pack. So, he could try and play late in the hope that Yellow moves past him and Red moves past him. Uh, and that's what he's going to do, in fact. He's going to play that card. And then Red. So, he's the one with all the special options, which I'm not meant to have told you. Um, he, again, he wants to play late, because if he plays early, he's going to move the wrong way. However, he could try and play early with a repulsing card. But remember, the repulsing cards, there aren't any really, really super early. Um, does he take that risk or not? Okay, Red is going to play that card. So let's have a look. That's Red. That's Black. And that's yellow. So, yellow guessed correctly. No one was going to play earlier than him. Um, so, yellow moves first. Just need to move these away slightly. So, yellow moves first. He's going to move five spaces towards the nearest ship. So, remember, he's equidistant, but there's more ships this side. So, he's going to move five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. And that is that card done. So, then, red moves. Red moves two spaces. Unfortunately, the nearest ship now is behind him still. So, he didn't play late enough to get for Black to move past him. Um, he, he's just going to take the hit. Two spaces isn't terrible. And then, finally, Black. Now, Black is really, really hosed. So, that didn't work at all for him. Remember, Black's played Yttrium. Uh, which is going to move towards the nearest ship, which in this case now, unfortunately for him, is red. Um, and ironically, see, had red have stayed here and played the emergency stop card, that would have been great for black. So this is where it really depends on what other people do. Um, so black... Black is actually going to take the hit as well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there is a reason for that. Essentially, the reason is, if you remember... And again, the, the, the yellow player wouldn't know this. But the reason is that he's got... Oh, in fact, I will show you this. He's got only yellow cards, and they're all relatively high. He's possibly going to need that emergency to stop later. And also, being right at the back, there's only one place he can move. So, that was that round done. Now we start the second round. And now this is this is difficult for yellow. Because yellow... Oh, actually, wait a sec. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's not good. 
So, essentially, he needs red to play a card six or higher if he hopes to get past him. Six or higher so that red comes from there round to here. Alternatively, he could hope that red messes up and happens to move backwards, in which case this would be the nearest ship and yellow would move this way. But... And again, I'm, this is where it kind of annoys that I know what Red's got. Um, we have to try and think from Yellow's point of view, that's going to be unlikely, I think. Because Red probably knows which direction he's going to move. And unless Black messes them over, that's going to be the nearest ship at the moment. So he could play a repulsing ray and move forward. Okay, let's think about what Yellow wants to do. So Yellow's basically got two choices. He either plays something like this, almost throws it away to move backwards three spaces. Or he takes a gamble and plays something like this one, or either of these two, that's R and S, and hopes the red does something to either move away from that ship that way, black doesn't come here, or move, red moves past him. It's a big gamble, it's a big, big gamble, but let's do it, let's do that. Uh, so Black, Black is really safe in the knowledge that he's only probably going to move one way. So he's going to play this card, and Red, so Red thinking about it, he is going to play that card. Okay, so Red... And this could be where I've I've kind of given into my my uh, other knowledge. Red's going to play that card. Black's going to play that card. So they're all these are all late cards, okay? And that's yellow. Um, so the reason I went for that one for red was because I was thinking, well, I'm going to bounce off there. It's a good time to play it, and hope that black doesn't play and think too high to move part. So if black activates first, then red's going to be in trouble. But let's have a look. So uh, S T U V. So S goes first. Yellow goes first, which isn't good for him. So remember, he's one, two, three, four, five. So he's actually going to play as an emergency stop straight away, and that's a bit of a pro pro problem because he's obviously got quite high cards left still. They're all yellow, so he can only move one direction. Um, but he's going to play that and, and just see what happens. So, STU. So, U goes next. So, he does move before black. So, black, uh, red goes one, two, three, four, five. Remember, he moved away from the nearest ship, which was this one. So, ironically, had yellow have had a later card, which he didn't, um, then yellow would have been okay. But that's okay for the, for the next round, remember. And then finally, black's going to move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, next round. So, yellow wants to play quite early. Uh, reason being that, obviously, if he can move before red, he's going to move that way. So, he's going to play... Do you want to play super early, or do you want to play a little bit early? So, super early is that one, a little bit early is that one. That would obviously move further... One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that's going to be dangerous because he moves there. Then actually he's a bit too close to that derelict ship on the wrong side. Whereas one, two, three, he'd almost guarantee to move first. And would probably be okay. So he's going to play that one. So you might think, well, yeah, play, play the eye, it moves you further. But again, think about where you're going to end up, which is going to be there. That's a really bad place to be in when the derelict ship is there and you've only got yellow cards. So that's yellow's space. Uh, that's yellow's card. Black is oh, black's got problems. So black's got problems because he's done exactly what I've just said you shouldn't have done last turn. But again, I didn't think it through clearly enough. He's only got yellow cards, remember. Um. So unless yellow or red really, really mess up and come back here to that very space, then he's going to take a hit. So. He instead is going to play this card. And then finally, what's red going to do? So red's out in front at the moment. 
So he could play that one, hope he moves first. If he plays either of those two, he's going to be messed up. Ooh, he's going to play that one. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So, what does Red decide to play in the end? Red decided to play our friend Quavar Quavarum, which, again, is made up on, by the way. If you're thinking, I'm stupid, I haven't heard of that element, it's because it doesn't exist. Okay. Uh, Black's playing Hydrogen. And Yellow, we know, is playing Carbon. So, again, alphabetical order. Yellow moves first. Red's near a ship, so it'll be attracted towards there. One, two, three. That's that one played. Then H moves, and H obviously will move backwards. One, two, three, four. You might think, why did he play that? He didn't really have much of an option. He played his lowest card, knowing he'd move there, but essentially setting himself up next turn to move that way. And finally, Quavarum. I guess you'd pronounce that. Three spaces, tractor beam. Remember the tractor beam? Red stays where he is. Yellow's going to move backwards first. One, two, three. Then a derelict ship. One, two, three. Then this derelict ship. One, two, three. And then black. One, two, three. So actually, in all, all in all, black only moved back one space, really, which isn't terrible. Yellow's quite happy, because now yellow, even if red moves, unless red happens to move backwards two spaces, which it could do, um, then yellow's going to be attracted this way. Um, so actually, all not, not a terrible, not a terrible turn for any of them. So let's go for the next round. Yellow, also next movement phase, I should say. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yellow's going to move. Uh, yellow is going to play card. So yellow knows he wants to play quite early because he doesn't want red to accidentally or on purpose move back here or here. If he lands on either of those two spaces, um, then yellow is going to move backwards. So yellow is going to play. And also if he plays too late, black could start coming in here as well. So yellow is going to play this card before that we saw. Play I card. Uh, it's relatively on the off, but considering some of the ones that have already gone. So he's going to play that and hope to move here somewhere. Far enough away then from that derelict ship. Black. So Black, again, he's got this choice, um, which I wasn't going to show you, but then I forgot about it. So he's just going to play his uh, Zirconium. He knows he's going to move last, so he may as well move his furthest. And then finally, Red. So Red's got it. If he moves early, he's going to move backwards. Okay, so I will actually show you the, the cards Red's got. So Red's got both the A and B, and then he's got this K repulsive wheel. So he could take the gamble. So if it played now, the repulsing ray, he's going to move forward. He's going to repulse off. The, the, it's equidistant, but there's more ships this side. So he's going to move this way. K, you kind of get into towards the middle of the alphabet. There's this one here, isn't it? Um... But if he moves A or B, he's going to move backwards. But it's only backwards a little bit. Does he want to keep that? Okay, and this is where, unfortunately, I know what card yellow's played. Um, I'm, I'm going to play this. So I'm going to... You'll see why. Um, so, yellow played that. Uh, black played that. Red played that. So, I goes first. I, J, K. Um, and by the way, the amount of times I do the alphabet song in my head um, when, I'm, when I'm playing this game. So it's I, then J, then K, and then Z at the end. So I first, yellow first. We've already decided that yellow's going to move this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now K. So now this is now the nearest ship. He's going to move backwards. And here's the interesting choice. So remember what he's got. He's holding a 1 and 2, A and B. So he's going to move very, very first because we know the C's already gone. Well, nothing can move for them. So if he moves back two spaces, he is then nearest to this one. He could potentially get sucked all the way back. Whereas if he stays there, he could basically... Even then, it's going to be impossible. So he's going to hop over... 
Or he could actually, I mean, now you could actually count them out. So if he moves back two, he'll be there. And then black would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he'd be equidistant. There'd be more this side. Okay, he will do that. He'll he'll going to move back two. And the reason he's doing that is he thinks, he's just worked out that um, black will move and that will help him move next turn. So seven spaces, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's right. So I worried lost count there. Okay, rounds. Uh, next round. So this is where yellow really doesn't have a choice. I remember he's already used his thingy. He's going to play this card. He's hoping that it's late enough that somebody, preferably black, is going to end up here somewhere. Um, we'll do red next. So red... Red wants to play. Red knows he's going to play first because no one can beat an A or a B. So at the moment he's equidistant here. And then remember this is what he worked out last turn. So he's going to move this way because there are more ships. So he may as well play the B, which will put him about here. So he's going to do that. And then black. Again, black almost hasn't got a choice. He's got F and G. They're, they're not going to make a difference. He may as well from where he is. I mean, even if red jumps past him, he's still going to move. So he may as well play his high value, his, his high value card, and get as far forward as he can. So we got red playing that. We've got black playing that, and yellow playing that. So actually, it's, a, it's an alphabetical order. So red, go, uh, sorry, yeah, that was red. Red goes first. With boron one two. It goes there. Black sees that and sighs relief because he now moves this way with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then yellow sees that and sighs a massive sigh of relief because this is now where he the plan worked. He played late enough in the round that black moved past him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now you could look at that and you could think, yeah, but you know, Neil, you only did that because you knew what people were playing. And that's true. That is 100% true, true. I'm not trying to suggest for one moment that this works out this smoothly when you're properly playing. It's an extra this kind of game when you're trying to do a dummy run th run through that you obviously know what the other players are playing. Um, anyway, that's that's what it is. So last round, again, last round, there's no point um, hiding anything because you don't have a choice in what you're playing. And we go there. So, um, Red goes first, and you might think again play your emergency stop. Remember, he's still got his emergency stop, and Black's still got his emergency stop. But in this case, he actually thinks, well, if he ends up there, it's actually not... Okay, not quite sure my phone decided to cut off mid-sentence there. Quite annoying. Uh, what I was about to say is, remember, Red could play his emergency stop, but ending up there isn't so bad, because it mean, means that next turn, he can he's almost assured of moving that direction, um, which he could play a high card for. Whereas if he starts here, unless he draws, and it's entirely possible that you don't draw any of the uh, yeah the pink cards, that he, he's going to be stuck that way anyway. So he may as well take the hit now um, and just move back one space. Uh, black. Uh, yep, black moves next. He's going to move five spaces. Which way is he going to move? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So he's going to move this way. He says, uh-uh, don't want to do that. So he's flicking over his emergency stop, and he's going to take his. Uh, he's going to see what happens next turn, because remember, then yellow moves. He's going to have to move backwards. One, two, three, four. He doesn't have his emergency stop, and therefore that puts black into not a bad position. He, he's now nearer yellow than he is the direct ship. That's the end of that round. Um, and yeah, so come back and we'll have a look at the next round.